All right, episode eight of the Conrad Zan player career mode on FC25. The last episode was really, really good. The whole season, this particular whole season has been really good. He has scored in every single match that he has played. He has a 100% goal scoring record. That is actually insane. He's the top scorer in the Bundesliga with 10 goals in just eight appearances. We have a couple of things to do in this episode. Sorry about my whole get up because I just woke up and my hair is a fucking mess. A couple matches to play in this episode. We have the most important one being this one against Leverkusen and i think i don't know which which other one i'm going to play oh we have frankfurt that is a very very tempting match that is a very tempting match so this episode might just be an episode of vendettas because i'm going to play this one and then the match against frankfurt to end the episode but before we do anything we have the match against borussia mojengladbach in the dfb pokal i don't know what round this is i think it should be written there is not it's not written there. All right, so I'm going to do the skill point. I have completely decided to give up on the whole virtuoso thing. So I'm going to push on the Maverick personality. We're going to be starting this match. Playable highlights. But let me just change the kit real quick. I was about to pl first play match there. Well, thankfully I saw it. I saw it on time. All right, so what can Zan do in this match? Hopefully it's a lot. You guys should hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. FC25 content daily and well, let's get into the match. Honestly, I feel like my brain is not working. <laughs> so I might possibly not be at my absolute best in this match. But let's see. Can you get this out to me? Definitely. Cut inside. Nice. And that is a really good goal to start the episode. That is a really good goal to start the episode. And we are 1-0 up against Mojengladbach. Let's hope that we can keep it that way. We have a cross opportunity here. I think I need to work on my heading accuracy because my heading is absolute shit on God. So that is something that I possibly will have to work on. Next up is a crossing opportunity. I think I'm going to go for far post here. Hopefully it will work. It did, and I just fucking hit it back to, to where it came from. All right, we have a solo run, so this is a chance for a second goal. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up like I've been fucking up most chances like this recently. All right, it's not going to catch us. And that is the second goal in the DFB Pokal, and we are flying. We have yet another counter, but I don't know if this guy is going to give it to me straight up. He doesn't. That is actually really good and ah shit i was so close to getting the hat trick we still have the ball here though but let's try and get it to marlin and yeah it's not a very it's not a very good cross in the end all right free kick for borussia dortmund here um i haven't worked on my free kick ability yet i mean it's really good relatively but i mean myself i do not know how to take them really well i think that is bad oh it's actually not that bad it actually wasn't that bad to be honest Let's support you here. Maybe. Nine. Oh, shit. Crap. I was I wanted to give it to Adeyemi, but he was already offside, so I tried to turn it at the last second. Well, it didn't work out. Anyway, we have a chance for something here. Not exactly sure what it, it is yet. But we go. Oh, shit. Shit. I took too much time before I made the pass there. All right. We have a Dortmund attack. We have a chance for a power shot. I still haven't scored one of those yet though, but I'm going to try it now, and of course it gets freaking blocked again. Every single time I try, it gets blocked, but let's hope that we do win the match. We do, 2-1. So, we still haven't gotten our hat-trick. We had a really good chance of getting in this match, but I just failed. But, I mean, we're still doing really well. That is two extra goals in one extra match. Next up, we have Heidenham, who is currently in 12th position in the Bundesliga. I think I'm going to do the training real quick before this match. I'm going to be... Whoops. I'm going to be simulating it. New email from Dortmund board. Okay, so just a little match reschedule. All right, so I'm going to be simulating this one. So, let's hope that we do keep 100% record. This is where I get really scared because the, um, the simulation can just do anything to me. And we lose the match. That is our first loss in the Bundesliga. I cannot believe we actually lost to freaking Heidenham. But the good thing is we do continue our 100% record. So that is that is perfect. This just shows how bloody stingy I am. I'm, this just shows how bloody stingy I am. I mean, look at me. I think Haaland won the Ballon d'Or. I think I just saw that real quick. Yeah, he did, obviously. I think we might have a good chance to win it next season the ballon d'Or and the young player of the year award we definitely would have won it this year that's the young player of the year if um we didn't get injured last year so 
I mean, we're pushing for that. We possibly might not get the Ballon d'Or because Haaland is a fucking beast in the game. So he possibly might be like scoring back to back to back and all that. We might have a very slim chance of winning the Ballon d'Or. I really hope that we do though because I mean, a Ballon d'Or at 18. We're currently 17 right now, but we're going to be 18 like in December 17. But none of that is really important right now. Let's focus on the next match at hand, which is the Champions League match against Young Boys. We have been doing not great and the last match against boys we did really badly in the champions league and this is the chance for us to actually do something really good all right the last three matches in the champions league haven't been all that great we drew two and we lost the last one against sports which was the one that shocks me the most to be honest but this is a really good chance i think i hope i hope you can find me here i'm not going to start running immediately oh my god and what the hell was that pass what the actual hell was that pass all right, Marlin, I saw you, but I couldn't exactly. All right, it, it didn't work out. I wanted him to give me the ball back there, but I don't know why the fuck he didn't. But we are let, we are upside here like mad. What the hell? I think I'm going to need to bend my run. It's not working out. I, di I didn't do it very well. I didn't do it very well. All right, we still have the ball. That is a good thing. Gets out wide. Nice. Malin. Oh my god. What did he do there? What did he do there? What the fuck was that? I think that's the penalty. And we're probably we're probably going to take it. I don't know why I care so much about this 100 percent record because I don't think anybody has done it ever before. I'm going bottom right this time. Hopefully we do score it. Alright, the keeper had no chance. Keeper just had no chance with that. Next up we have a chance for a power shot i'm definitely going to the power shot here again definitely and we finally score it oh my god we finally score the bloody power shot and we're on a hat trick we're on a hat trick we need just one more goal and we look oh my god this is the perfect chance this is the perfect chance left or right right nice 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 all right so we got this right zani got this you do definitely and finally we finally get a hat trick we finally get a hat trick, so we have the one skill point unlocked. And finally, I'm so I'm so happy that I finally I finally done it. I said finally like five million times there. All right, four goals. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That is such a good header. That is such a freaking good header. Let's go celebrate with the mascot. That is really good. Okay, so we have another <laughs> another chance here, and it's looking like. All right, so we are stuck. Gets the Marlin. That is good. Please score it. One assist for me. And that is four goals and one assist in this match. We are absolutely demolishing young boys. So the good thing about this is that we have a really high goal difference. And okay, let's see if we can get in behind here. Let's pass it. No. Nice. And we can't reach it. All right, so that was ambitious, but... All right, so that's the end of the match. It's ends 5-0 to us. And we did really, really well in this match. I think this is the... I don't know if this is my first hat-trick. Apart from that one in the international match. I really can't remember if I scored a hat-trick after that one. But the good thing is that we are going to be allocating one skill point to our player because of this hat-trick. On top of that, we did get every single one of our objectives. Zan is performing superbly right now. And believe me, that's not all what he's... That... It, what? That's not all of what he's capable of. All right, that makes sense. All right, so we are allocating skill points. We have 48, and it's kind of interesting that we're allocating only one. That is, that is crazy. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Now that I think about it, because getting a hat-trick is really hard. And when is the next time that I'm going to get a hat-trick? All right, so I think I want to work on my heading accuracy. Because, I mean, I'm not going to be in a lot of heading situations and all. But, I mean, I just feel like it's something that I should work on. My passing is okay. My dribbling, what is this? Attacking position, I really don't need that. I think this actually helps with the goals in the simulation. And I want to get my 100% record. So I'm going to go for attacking attacking um, position. It says two, but I mean, it's just one thing I'm getting. You guys let me know in the comments if you want the hat trick to be um, three allocations instead of one. Because I feel like I feel like we deserve more than that for after like that hat trick because it takes a long time to get it. But after a great performance in the match against young boy, Zan is named player of the match. With four goals to his name against a stunned BSC young boy side, Zan certainly managed to impress the home crowd. Buzzing after that performance, huge thanks to the fans, your support means the world to me. I don't know who the fuck is talking, 
but I, I believe that this would be Corazanto game. But okay, but it's a it's a good it's a good match. And before this match against Leverkusen, I want to do something real quick. Let's get wayward for a bit. So we're going to go to his hair, and we are going to change the color of it. We're going to go um blonde. I know I'm saying blonde, but I just want to like look at what all these ones look like right now. This watermelon actually does look nice. I like the the highlights on it. But we're going to go for um the platinum blonde or diamond blonde, pure diamond, I guess. Uh, dirty blonde. I think I'm going to go for dirty blonde for now. I hope he does look good with this though. All right, now we have the match against Bayer Leverkusen, the team that threw me away for absolutely no reason because I got injured and I couldn't start a majority of the matches for the season. They sold me to another club. I really hope that we beat them here because they are a really tough side. Where are they in the league? They are third and we are first. Let me look at the league table real quick before I go into, into the match. We are on 22 points. That is good. Leverkusen is on 18 behind us as well as mine. Bayern is on 16. Um, that's good for them. But I really hope that we can actually get the win against Leverkusen here because it's really it's really going to be important to me. But I think I think they say something about my old club in the news there. Zan said to face his old club as Dortmund gear up to go against Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Who will get the last laugh? Has to be me, man. This is going to be one hell of a match, so don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's see what Konrad Zan has in store for Bayer Leverkusen in this match. Oh, can I score this? I do. Oh my god, that is so unexpected. I wasn't expecting the defender to make that that kind of a mistake. And I capitalized on that and his with his weaker foot at that. I can't actually believe I got that on my weaker foot. That is such a good goal from, from Conrad Zan Jr. Damn. Come on. I know at the beginning of this match, I was saying that I, I really don't care about my 100% record. And I actually didn't. It was more important to me to win this match. But it's actually sort of a relief. Shit. Don't pass it to me. How does that even make sense? But yeah, I was talking about my 100% um, record. I really didn't care about it, but I mean, the fact that I do, I did end up getting it is a is a huge plus. Um, Brands. Uh, that's not what I did, but okay, we still end up with the ball. Malin, can you score this? And you do get to head on it, but it's just wide. It's just why that is a really good counter. The initial through pass that I made didn't work out as planned, but I mean, we still ended up, you know, having a strong goal. All right, to Marlin. Marlin, back to me, please. Thank you. Things a goal, definitely. And that is two goals in the match against Leverkusen. And I swear to God, if I get another hat trick in this match, I'm going to be so happy. I really hope that. Um, I really hope that I don't know why I did that, but I mean we did win the free kicks. That is a plus. But you know what? I think I should be able to get a goal here actually. Shot power 91, curve 91. I just need a lot of power on this and let's hope that this works. And the keeper does make a good save there. Alright, so it was it was a good free kick. Let's see what I can do here. Maybe. Ah shit, it gets it gets blocked. My Malin, brilliant. I think you're not offside. I think I got a hat trick, sorry, an assist here. And that is 3 0 to Borussia Dortmund against the Rakusen. The Rakusen wasn't able to beat Dortmund last season. And now I'm in the team that is demolishing them again. 3 0, two goals for me, and one assist. I'm still hunting for my hat trick. But I mean, if it doesn't come, it's completely fine. But if it does come, I'm going to be happy as fuck. All right, let's try and keep a clean sheet here as best as possible. Shutterbeck, that is a really good block from you to deny Marcus Thuram. Um, We possibly might not be able to get a counter here, but if it happens, oh, they do get a goal at the end of the day. So that is not... I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's 3-1. I don't think they're going to be able to come back here. It's very possible, though, because the defense in 25 is very, very questionable. So, I mean, we need to sit the fuck up and hope that that, in fact, is not the case. Or we have a 10.0 match rating and it will be nice to actually keep this so that we can get another skill point allocation uh that is actually really nice so i mean if we get a, a 10 point and a hat trick 
that would also be really really cool so let's hope that that is the case all right let's move back to position so we don't lose our 10 points all right the match is almost over and it's looking like we possibly have won this i don't think there's any way that we're going to score two goals in the amount of time that we have left unless the um stoppage time is you know just crazy but i mean it's sad that we're going to get a hat trick against them but i mean the 10 point zero match rating is still is still something that is really good so i hope that we can actually cling on to that and um get another skill point allocation for ourselves here all right that's the end of the match we do cling on to it and that is a really good match from us we started all the way from the fourth minute and we started hammering them back to back to back we were able to get a goal back though but i mean we're still the victors here Dortmund is really out here showing every single one of the teams are facing why we deserve to be on top of the table i mean i don't even know how the hell we lost against freaking heidenheim to be honest like it makes absolutely no sense but we did get the win against our former club that is that is what's um I care about i absolutely own the pitch again by the all right that's good for you bro but is there anything about us winning ex Dortmund player that faces his old team in an emotional encounter with former teammates that ended the minus three um it was minus two actually not minus three but we did score three goals next up we have the match against ghana we already played against ghana and remember i am not counting the 100 percent record in the um international matches exactly we do not score here but exactly i do not count it because we've been scoring in all the sims and it's quite shocking but i don't want to like add the international fixtures because we've been scoring all the sims and then all of a sudden shit just hits the fan next up we have iceland if i'm not wrong yeah that's iceland um let's see if we can get a win here as well we drew against ghana i think the first one we played against them we drew and we drew again i don't know why we're drawing back to back to back it's actually quite annoying that that is the case but i really hope my international routine doesn't drop all the way down because that will be really annoying we're going to go for the heartbeat for this one and next up we have wolfsburg who is currently 13th in the in the league our match against frankfurt is going to be in a couple matches a lot of other matches actually spawned in the middle of that so i mean the episode might be longer but i want to end the episode against frankfurt though so i'm going to be uh, playing the highlights of this wolfsburg match i think i'm going to simulate majority of the rest before we get to the frankfurt match it's going to be the playable highlights and let's see if we can get the win don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i'll be saying it a lot so you know subscribe 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 <laughs> but anyways let's see if we can get ourselves a win in this match against wolfsburg we are in their home stadium but well, hopefully that doesn't deter us marlin i don't know if I didn't hear me actually he gets blocked at the last freaking second but that is such a such an insane clearance though next up is another crossing opportunity i don't know what i want to do here should i like run in and that happens we still have the ball though and well we'll lose the ball eventually but i don't know why that thing keeps happening is it going to happen here again i i i, I can bet that's going to happen here again i look at where the ball is exactly i don't know why the fuck that shit is happening we have the oh my god this is a this is the best chance we have to score a free kick and the defenders are rather on the short side the wall rather is on the short side so i think this might just be our chance i think that is too much that is too much i put too much on it oh my god i did it oh shit oh my god we just hit the freaking post now we have another chance here um, Wolfsburg still hasn't scored, so we have um, a bit of a ch chance here to to make amends for that first chance. And let's hope that we get it here and we... You have got to be kidding me with that. You have got to be kidding me with that. Please score it. And they don't score. We don't score. I don't know how we don't score there. But we have a counter attack, which I'm hoping. Oh shit. 2 1. Damn. That is going to be another loss. I'm hoping that we score here. Because, I mean, why the hell not? Come on. And we do. All right. So we still keep our 100% record. Even though our team is going to be losing the match. And I don't think. I doubt there's going to be another chance to score. So that's the end of the match. We had two free kicks. And we hit the bar in both of them. That is so unfortunate. The second one, we hit both bars. That is just unfortunate on, on God. But still, it's not a loss that I would have predicted. Wolfsburg is not a bad side. But, I mean, we still should have done a little better. I mean, we had two free kicks that we should have put away. But, I mean, free kicks are so hard to put away. The goal ratio in free kicks is not really friendly. 
but anyways we have a match against drogada united i think that's the name i don't know if that's their name to be honest all right so they should probably be at the bottom all right so trab trab zone sport we are um 17th in champions league right now and i actually saw that it is 9th to um 24 there's a playoffs for them so i think we just need to stay in that in that category because i don't think that we are going to make it to eighth position even though they're just like um how many points is that just four points away from them i can't believe Feyenoord is actually there so that match against Feyenoord, i think we have a match against Feyenoord. like that's going to be the last champions league match for this oh it's going to be the first one next month and i think we should have a really good chance to get a win against them and that should actually help our chances to getting to you know the playoff spot i don't know how many matches we have played so far though i'm going to be playing the highlights for this as well let's hope that we can get another hat trick in the champions league because i'm looking at breaking the champions league record also so hopefully that happens all right so the first order of business is a possible um power shot i mean a power shot from here is going to be crazy ah the touch just let me down there to be honest but can we oh my god that is nice shoot it and the keeper makes a very good save there um who is going to be there the marlin is looking like i can just like lay a simple pass up to him and i can't please score it please score it that is our first goal of this match in the 35th minute that is a really good goal and then yeah me please do not fuck this up please do not fuck this up oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit nice nice and we score that is such a good pass from Adeyemi. I was not expecting that. And I didn't even call it. That's the thing. I didn't even call the pass. And that was so good. Next up, we have the chance for the power shots, which I am so going to do here. Hopefully, he makes a really good touch. Maybe. And I don't know what the hell happened there. I mean, I don't understand what the hell this game is sometimes. I am so going to be going for a goal here. And it's going to be absolutely crazy if I do score it. But it is highly unlikely that I will score it, to be honest. So, let's just see what happens. And uh, please, Miracle. Oh, my God. I don't know if I get the... Um, oh, it's not on goal. Shit. <laughs> but, I mean, it still ended up in a goal. But, I mean, I wish that I would have been the one to score that. Because that was so good. I will get all of our objectives yet again. Before we move on, let's look at the teams that have us in their eyes. We have Napoli. We have Spurs. Go for bid. We've actually finished all of this. <laughs> that's crazy we have Bayern shot on target we are soon going to be able to get a contract from Bayern I'm not going to be moving to Bayern though that's not going to happen maybe later later on and we have Man City as well so those are actually really big teams that are coming for us and this should be a easy match for us I mean there are six on the table so that is kind of crazy though so let's hope that we do score in this match because that will mean the end of our 100% um, scoring record we get a freaking hat trick. We get a freaking hat trick. And I just remember that we got a 10.0 in the match against Leverkusen. So we now have two allocations. I don't even know how the hell I forgot that. But we're going to be um, improving our player a little bit here. Um, player growth. Alright, so I was talking about my head accuracy, right? I don't know. I can't remember if I worked on that before. But I'm going to be... The first allocation is going to be for this. And we're going to have dribbling maybe um attacking position is what i did the last time do i want to do it again i think i'm going to do it again so i'm just going to like be done with attacking position with that and well we oh we move up to an 89 now so that is that is good for us next up though we have the match against um a team that i have no idea what they're called so i do hope that we get a win here hopefully we do and we also don't score shit so that is the end of our 100% record. I mean, we had a really good run. Well, I mean, it's something that was going to come to an end. If I'm playing every single one of the matches in the league, then maybe it's something that could happen, but I'm not. I'm simulating. So I just knew that it was going to go down in the simulation and all. I mean, it's, it was a good run, but that is the end of it. Next up, we have the match against Frankfurt. I haven't played them ever since they took me out for five months. But I swear to God, if they injure me again here, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> but uh let's just hope that that's not the case great win borussia dortmund cannot wait to see zan advance in the dfb pokal all right so we have a couple things lined up 
Um, what's this? Your player of the month? All right, so I'm going to thank my fans for the congratulatory messages. That's what I'm going to do. And then Christmas is in a bit. My birthday is also in a bit. Let's look at this real quick. All right, next up, we have the match against Frankfurt. That is going to be a really big match. But before I do that, I want to see where I am in the Champions League. We are 28. Oh, Bayern has already shot up to... Damn, that is crazy. That is crazy. They made light work of that. All right, let's go to the Champions League real quick. We are in 14th position, and the next match against player now should, should see us go to 11 points. And let's hope that any of these teams in the top eight, like Real Madrid, fuck up or something like that, is not possible. But it's something that we should be able to do. We have a really interesting goal difference. We have six, and uh, okay, not a lot of them have more than six. To be honest, just two others have more than six. So. Leverkusen is also doing really good for themselves in the Champions League. I just saw that there. So that is good for them. But right now, we're going to focus on the match against Frankfurt. This is going to be a really, really... I mean, it shouldn't be a tough match. It's just that I have a really, really large bone to pick against them. And I really hope that uh, we can deliver the same way we delivered against the uh, your face of Leverkusen. All right, so let's go into the match and let's hope that we can get ourselves a win. Right, that is a really good save from from Koma. I can't even believe that. I didn't even track that with my eyes, to be honest. But I mean, we have another. I mean, they have another corner here. Let's hope that we can actually come out with a counter. Well, the chance for a counter is long gone now, but they. Are right, we come out with the ball? Nice. Can we get past this guy? Why? Why the hell can't we do? What the hell? nice all right are we through here we are all right so this might be the first oh my god oh my god what the hell was that why is there like a random really bad touch like what why is that a thing that is so annoying Alright, nice. Somebody gets back to me, and we are through, maybe? Brilliant. And we're, we're scoring this, right? Definitely. Alright, so that is the first goal of this match, and that is a really, really good run from Conrad Zan Jr. there. We draw back all the way to the defense. We gave it to Karim Adeyemi, who gave it back to us, and then we dispatched that brilliantly. We go past two defenders, though, and that is a really, really good goal. That is showing Frankfurt that we are their boss. And Malin, please give this to me. Quick shot, score. Definitely. I was <laughs> I was at the loss of words there because I really didn't understand what the hell I was about to say, but that is a really good goal. Took it all the way out to Malin, who returned it back to us, and we are on a hat trick just like that. And that is the second half. We've had a really, really good first half. The beginning of the match wasn't really all that, but we're still like battling with 5.7, 5.8. But at the end there, we just came alive. That is what uh, makes us Conrad Zan, to be honest. 9.2 already. Let's see if we can get two hat-tricks in one match. Again. Again, that really disgusting touch. Oh my god. Trivella? Definitely. And that is the hat-trick. <laughs> just like that. We have a hat-trick and a 10.0 match rating. Now that I think about it, the first match that we had a hat-trick in, did I get a 10.0 in that match? I have no idea if I did. But if I look at the at the recording that I did, then I'm going to like add it to the next episode, like to the allocation for the next episode. So that is a really, really good pass from Brands. I wasn't expecting him to make that pass. Cause I thought he had already like failed it completely where he turned back. But man, that is such such a good goal. I know what's crazy. The last time we played against Frankfurt, we were on a hat trick. And when we we're about to score our last goal, they completely fucked up my legs. But it looks like they've completely learned their lesson. I don't know if it's the same defenders that are there or not, but we have exacted our revenge already, and that is what matters in this match, apart from the win. <laughs> if we get the ball here, we possibly have a counter-attack, and that is good. Or not really a counter per se, shit. I'm already... Crap, 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 crap. Nice. Gets it to him. He's free. Uh, please try and score this. Please try and score this. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think I've ever scored with you, though. Damn! These guys are crazy! Right, I don't think Karim Adeyemi has scored this season, to be honest. Alright, that is, that is my number. So, we are going off. 
I'm actually gonna call this up this time. But that is a really good match. 9.7. Are you crazy? You know, I don't even believe that because it was 10.0 before I like did that. Before I called for the sub. Why the hell are they telling me 9.0? Alright, so this match ended up 4-1. I really reached the leading score, but I mean it really doesn't matter. We still got a really big win there. And why the hell are they telling me 10.0? It says 9.8. Oh my god. But we did have a hat trick, so I'm going to be allocating that though. But I am going to. If we got a 10.0 in the last hat trick match that we made, then I'm going to add that to this and I'm going to like allocate it at the beginning of next episode. So next up we have Feyenoord in the in the Champions League. That should be a match that we should win. Where well, I swear to God, I thought Feyenoord was going to be in December though. Sorry, in January. Am I tripping? I feel like I'm tripping, definitely. I thought it was in January. We are currently 14th. So we are in a good place to be honest and we have played 5. I think we are going to play 8 matches in total. So we have just 3 matches left to determine if we are going to be in the playoffs or not. So 3 matches, that is good if we win all of them, which I'm pretty sure that we should. We are 8 points right now, so um, that is going to be 17 points in total if we win. So we have just Celtic and Hirona to play against next. And I don't think that we should have that much of a problem with the way, with the form that we are at right now. I don't think we should have that much of a problem. But anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Drop your comments on what you think about the series and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.